This video will cover a brief overview of template management and administration using Conga XAuthor for Contracts Advanced. Once you've installed XAuthor for Contracts Advanced in Microsoft Word, you can now start using this tool to manage and administer your templates within CLM. The first thing you'll need to do to do so is to start by accessing the XAuthor plugin within Microsoft Word. If this is the first time that you've done this, you'll need to log in to XAuthor using the same credentials you use to access CLM. You'll select Salesforce as your identity provider and then provide your username and password, the same that you use to access Conga CLM from within Salesforce. Once you've logged in, you now have the ability to toggle between the two main use cases of XAuthor Advanced between contracts and templates. If you're familiar with the previous version of XAuthor, you'll remember that these two live as separate tabs in Microsoft Word, commonly located here above the ribbon. Now you'll access the two locations from within the hamburger menu in the XAuthor plugin. Once you've selected templates, you'll have to start by opening up a template that already exists within CLM or creating a new one. Keep in mind, this is the centralized location for both your agreement and clause templates, depending on which you want to create or to administer. Once you've identified the appropriate template that you want to work on to either update or to create, you can select it. That will open up the template in a new instance of Microsoft Word and essentially checks the document out as well. You'll notice here we have an indication that the template is now locked by me as the user of checking it out. Now I've moved over to the work tab, and this is where I'll spend the majority of my time where I need to modify or update this template. You'll see that this is one that's already been created and it has a combination of fields as I hover my cursor over them in the document and clauses. This specific template includes smart fields and smart clauses. I can also see these by switching over to the different tabs within the work tab. These are sub tabs that allow me to identify the different components within this template. So you see I do have a handful of fields that have been inserted throughout the document and I can click on each of these. They identify where it exists within the template. And then I can also uh, configure some specific properties around this by clicking on the gear icon for each of those. The same functionality exists if I move over to my clauses tab and I can see the different smart clauses that I have being pulled in from my clause library into this template. <clears throat> the clauses tab has some additional functionality here. I have the ability to lock down these clauses here at the template level as read only and I can also configure any conditionality that I'd like to use in order to insert these. So if I'd like to only insert this clause under specific conditions, I can build out that logic here and in the properties section for each of these different clauses. There are some additional functionality under the drop down menu here. If I'd like to clone this template for ease of use to creating another one, if I'd like to open it up in CLM to identify that, or if I'd like to work with segments, the segment functionality also exists here in XAuthor Advanced. Once I'm done with work on any given template, I need to finish, or this is the equivalent of checking the document back into CLM. Again, similar functionality as before, I have the ability to modify or update any of the metadata associated with this specific template. Ultimately, I want to make sure that this is being checked in as active if I do want this to be immediately used within CLM, or I can untoggle this active switch if I'm not ready for this to be used live. And then finally, checking the document back in will publish this as a new version of the template back into CLM. Just a quick um, flip over into our clauses space. If I go back to the start tab, I can use the filter option here to be able to look at just templates that are for my clauses in the system. And this is essentially managing and administering my clause library. So again, the same functionality exists here. Once I've identified one clause that I'd like to target for either update or modification, I can select that here within the start tab within XAuthor Contracts Advanced. That opens up that clause template in its own instance of Microsoft Word. It's also locked now by the user. And again, the same functionality exists here. I can now start to modify either the static text here or any of the smart components that I've added in. 
One additional note to keep in mind whenever you are making any changes to your clause templates is that if those are being actively used in any of your agreement templates, you'll also need to make sure that you go through the publish process. The publish process makes sure that any templates that are utilizing the clause template that may have been updated are updated themselves to use the latest version of that clause. All roads lead to the Conga customer community. Connect with peers, access exclusive resources, and stay ahead with the latest insights. Click the link in the video description to log in now and start exploring.